स्पीकर इज ऑफ ओम शांति सो टुडे इज नाइन्थ अगस्त 2023 बाबा साकार मुरली मॉर्निंग मुरली इसेंस ऑफ टुडेज मुरली बाबा से स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू विल बी एबल टू इम्बाइव नॉलेज वेन यू बिकम सोल कॉन्सियस ओनली द चिल्ड्रन हु बिकम सोल कॉन्सियस विल बी एबल टू रिमेम्बर द फादर so the first lesson baba says unless and until you stabilize in soul conscious stage you will not be able to remember baba and also to imbibe his knowledge then question from today's murli due to which one mistake have human beings said that souls are immune to the effect of actions the answer human beings have said that each soul is the supreme soul and that is why they have understood souls to be immune to the effect of action however only shiv baba is immune to the effect of action he doesn't experience happiness or sorrow sweetness or bitterness his soul says such and such a i think is sour the father says i am not affected by anything i am beyond the effect of those things i am a, i am the ocean of knowledge and i speak that same knowledge to you so baba says because people has understood the soul as supreme soul that's why baba says the supreme soul is beyond the all the effect of the all actions but because they understood the soul as supreme soul they also understood that soul is beyond the action effect of all actions baba says due to this mistake they have understood otherwise baba says because i am not possessing body so i don't have effect of any uh, bodily actions i am not coming in uh, attraction or in effect of the ex body but souls they are they are possessing their own body they are uh, coming to birth and death so they are performing all the actions through body so they are uh, under the effect or this uh, we can say under the impressions of all the actions and baba says i am not i am the ocean of knowledge then song of the day i have come having awakened my fortune om shanti baba says who said this the soul said this through these organs the soul is an embodiment of peace i a soul receive this body and that is when i become talking i perform many types of actions through this body so when a soul possesses possesses the body then only the soul can think can uh, can talk ha huh? can see can hear everything so without organ soul cannot do anything first of all you have to have this faith what faith that i am a soul and not the body ah uh, further baba has narrated very nicely soul is sat body is asat ah uh, soul is living body is non living in other spiritual gathering it is human beings who speak to human beings it is bodily beings who speak there they would say such and such a great soul is sitting there Uh, he is just uh, giving this lecture or speech baba says those things doesn't exist here you understand that you are souls and that those bodies are your organs you souls are listening to the supreme father the supreme soul and he only has the one name seva at this time you children are sitting here and listening to him who is speaking to you baba says the unlimited father when you say the supreme father the supreme soul your intellect yoga goes up above shiv baba means point a soul is a point and god is also a point however he is called the supreme father the supreme soul he is the father and souls are children you have to understand i a soul have become a child 
of the father from beyond. You children have to become soul conscious. So Baba is coming in this corporeal body and through Brahma we are becoming his children because he is adopting us through this corporeal medium. So at all other places it is human beings who explain to human beings. At any place where they study the Gita, they remember the Gita and also say that God said this and that in the Gita. Uh, if somebody speaks something from the scriptures, they will say that I am saying this thing from this thing. So they, they also understand that God is saying this Gita. They believe that God in a corporeal form spoke the Gita. Someone sit and delayed the Vedas and scriptures. Human beings wrote the Vedas. Incorporeal God did not write the Vedas. Baba is speaking, he is singing, he is not writing anything. And just like uh, Vedvyas. The Baba says Vyas was a human being. Vyas con cannot be called the Supreme Soul. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is a point. Children are in corporeal forms. They have corporeal forms, whereas the father is incorporeal. The father says, I never have to become big or small. Now, Baba says, my form is same. Now, there is no change. You become big or small. I am called the Supreme Father because human beings, they possess body. So that uh, stage comes to the body, child, young, then old. Baba says human beings are at first children and then they grow up, they become parents and then become children again. I am the father constantly. I am the father constantly. I do not become a child. I only have the one name Shiva. You receive 84 names because you take 84 births. I the Supreme Father have the form of a point. It is just that people on the path of devotion have made my form very large in order to worship, right? in order to worship me. Because Baba is incorporeal, his point of light, so how to worship? Baba says people have made a very big shivlingam to worship. Sometimes they make a very big images of someone. Just Baba is now giving an example and making it clear. They make a very big image of Buddha. There cannot be such a large human beings. Baba says whatever uh, statue they are preparing, whatever images they are doing, uh, they actually human beings are not like that. Uh, maximum human beings are of six feet or six and a half feet, not more than that. But we have seen that uh, in the scripture also, the dream has been so and so big. Uh, the Siganes Hanuman also big, big. Baba says here also in devotion, they are making very big, big statues. Uh, idols of uh, deities also. So Baba says actually it is not like that. They simply give regard in that way. Huh? What is the intention? Only by the way they are giving the regard that they are such a big personalities. They believe that he was very big. The father is the highest on high. The greatest of all is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Baba says, uh, above Supreme Father, nobody is high. He is the highest of high. He is the highest on high. The Father sits here and gives his own introduction. You call me Shiva. It is explained to you children. You have to understand that you have come personally in front of incorporeal Shiva Baba. I am always called the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. I am the seed of the human tree. The Supreme Soul sits here and explains. The soul has this knowledge. It is sung. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, God, He is the ocean of knowledge. Huh? He is the ocean of knowledge. He is the seed of this human uh, world tree. Uh, he's planting the seed and from that uh, seed, the seed, uh, tree grows. He's speaking this knowledge to us. First of all, you have to become soul conscious. Baba says he's speaking the entire knowledge of this world drama, of this world. 
because he is ocean of knowledge and he is having full knowledge about is it nobody else and he is giving us this knowledge but to possess this knowledge in our intellect we have to be soul conscious why because uh, intellect is the faculty of a soul and to possess this knowledge in the intellect we have to stabilize in that uh, our original state so baba says you mustn't become body conscious however according to the drama you had to become body conscious baba says ha huh? this is also according to drama the father is now making you soul conscious all of you are children this one is also a child so no? brahma baba is also a child soul sir is giving the inheritance from the supreme father the supreme soul the grandfather so baba is grandfather and we children are receiving his inheritance from our alokik father in worldly relationship only sons receive an inheritance daughters don't receive it on in those days before 69 there was the rule there was a law that only males were uh, getting the inheritance but but nowadays after 2005 that has been removed baba says the unlimited father says all of you are souls each one of you has a right you used to belong to me the supreme father the supreme soul and you belong to me now and all are entitled to receive the inheritance of grandfather and baba says you belong to me now because through the body of brahma we are his grandchildren you say oh god the father oh supreme father supreme soul you sing his praise who sit who sings it baba says soul sing the praise those are physical fathers of bodies whereas this one is the father of souls souls call out oh supreme father supreme soul you have been remembering the imperishable father because there is nothing but sorrow in the kingdom of ravan you began remembering him when the kingdom of ravan began and since copper age you only have to remember the father because it is only from the father that you receive the inheritance here human beings remember many in this world our says gurus make you forget to have remembrance of the one if god is omnipresent then whom should we call god or father mother says if he is everywhere in everybody then to whom i will call god or father the father repeatedly says children become soul conscious so today's morning's essence is there you have to be in soul conscious stage while sitting or moving around remember me and your father understand that you are following shrimad i a soul am eating in remembrance of baba huh? so always we have to keep in our mind in our consciousness that i am a soul eating in remembrance of baba doing everything in remembrance of baba being in soul conscious stage your sins will be absorbed by having remembrance now without baba's remembrance baba says sins will not be absorbed the destination is very high our destination is to become deities from ordinary human beings so it is very high yoga is not like going to your auntie's home and to remember baba being in soul conscious uh, stage uh, and in the in our uh, how a home a board baba says it is not your auntie's home however people have made the fathers disappear this is very very important line baba says people have made the fathers disappear why because we are remembering uh, son father son means sri krishna the number one deity we are worshiping the deities thereafter we started to remember the mahatmas thereafter the gurus thereafter the alpha elements also but baba says you you have forgotten your father you have disappeared me 
So Sri Krishna is just a child. He was definitely the father who gave you such a huge reward. The father explains, forget your body and all bodily religions. Uh, bodily religions means Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai. They, that religions are established by human beings. So Baba says they are bodily religions. All of those names were given later on. Therefore, you should understand that you are studying this knowledge with the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. They, there isn't any other school where they would understand that they are souls. You know that you are at first Satopradhan and, and that you then go through the stages of Sato, Rajo and Tamo. Alloy is mixed into souls. Why the stage has come down? Because alloy is mixed in the souls. I never have alloy in me. Why alloy? Due to body consciousness. Uh, our, our actions uh, just were falling down. That is why that alloy has been mixed up. I am ever in real gold. <coughs> Baba says, I am not taking body. So there is no question of mixing any alloy. So I am ever pure. I am ever real gold. You should have all come iron injured at this time. Mama would also say, I am telling you what I have heard from Sri Baba. Uh, whatever she is uh, listening from Baba, she, she was just conducting the classes. So Sri Baba himself is the ocean of knowledge. These matters have to be understood very clearly. We truly now belong to Baba. He is teaching us. Uh, why we are belonging? Actually, we are... Uh, as, as a soul also, we are children of a Supreme Soul, but now he has adopted us, so we belong to him. He is teaching us. He is also our teacher. We are being liberated in life by studying with Baba, so he is also our Satguru. To be liberated in life means that, that you do have to enter a body, but also experience happiness. So Baba has explained this meaning of libera liberated. To whom we can say liberated? <coughs> liberated means we are in the life. Huh? We are with the body. We are in the life. But there is no experience of uh, sorrow. We are experiencing happiness. That is called liberated. Liberated from sorrow. So everyone does receive liberation, but everyone does Everyone goes into liberation in his life, Baba says, number-wise. So it, it depends upon our efforts, how much efforts we are making. Accordingly, we will get uh, there in new world liberation in life. So all souls become liberated. Huh? This is also a very important line. Baba says, all souls will be liberated from sorrow because everybody is unhappy now in this world. So Baba has come to liberate us. So he will liberate huh? with the punishment or with the with the remembrance uh, of Baba. But he will liberate everybody. He liberates you from sorrow for half a cycle. Those he will he will, he will be sitting those souls who are, who will be in our home that is abroad. They are also liberated for half a cycle. They are not coming in the part. And the Baba says, uh, my children, they will go in liberation in life. So for half a cycle, they are also liberated from sorrow. So he says, I liberate you and make you liberated in life. Then some take this many births and others take that many births. Everyone becomes liberated in life. Huh? So in, the, in that sense, Baba says, everybody is liberated in life. There is only the one who is the bestower of salvation. All the founders of religions have now become tamopradhan uh, while taking rebirth. So Baba says all the uh, founders of the religions, they are also taking, after taking birth by birth, they have become tamopradhan at this last stage. I come and liberate everyone from that sorrow and this is why I am called the liberator and the bestower of liberation and liberation in life. Liberation means to go to your home in the land of silence. The father comes here from the supreme abode, which is also called the world beyond 
परलोक बियॉन्ड मीन्स परलोक यू रिमेंबर बोथ द लैंड ऑफ निर्वाणा एंड द लैंड ऑफ हेवन वाई वी रिमेंबर बोथ बिकॉज बिकॉज वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू होम इन निर्वाणा एंड देर आफ्टर वी आर टू कमिंग वी आर कमिंग टू हेवन दैट्स वाई वी आर रिमेंबरिंग हेवन हेवन एंड हेल एग्जिस्ट हियर बाबा सेज इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो इन दिस स्टेज ओनली दिस हेल एंड हेवन बोथ आर हियर बट दे विल नॉट एग्जिस्ट बोथ एट अ टाइम Ah, Baba says that scene has been changed. At this time, everyone understands that this is hell. They continue to receive so much sorrow. They have written very fearsome stories in the Guru Puran, means Hindu scripture, from which people become afraid and are here by saved from committing sin. That's why Baba says that in the scripture. it is written like that ha huh? so many um, horrible stories they have narrated this was why they sat and made up such stories they began to write such uh, scriptures in the copper age the father says i come and create the brahmin religion through brahma it then becomes the sun and moon dynasty ha huh? very important line baba says first i establish brahman religion and through through this brahmin religion and uh, then come then comes this uh, sun dynasty and moon dynasty in do, uh, in those two ages no one comes to establish a religion uh, in in golden and copper age baba says no one is coming to establish a religion then one after one they all continue to come down uh, after copper age number wise and know their own religion this deity religion will appear disappear and they will then no longer be able to call themselves deities how could impure ones be called sri sri or elevated only the father makes you elevated deities are called elevated baba says there are many images of them but people don't understand when the deity religion existed or who established it Baba says the proofs are there because they are worshiping the idols. But when they were and who made them, they don't know. They have they have elongated the duration of the golden age. Baba now says, children, consider yourself to be souls. Remember the father. The play is now coming to an end. Can't you see that the gates to liberation and liberation in life are opening? the best hour of liberation and liberation in life is only the one you can see that here means in the world the title of world mother is given to someone or other our says in fact it is this one who is jagdamba the world mother yesterday before yesterday also baba says jagat mata who can be only one mother there isn't a person who could be the world father teacher and also the jagat guru ha huh? only shri baba is the world father the world teacher and the jagat guru although people give themselves many names they are not that there is such a vast difference between lakshmi and narayana and those vicious ones who give themselves those title baba says nowadays ha huh, in this world they are giving the title of lakshmi and narayana human beings have become such fools uh, that's why they are giving the title of deities they have forgotten the original eternal deity religion and taken those titles for themselves in fact only the one has the highest on high status there is only the one bestower of salvation even if you call him ram he is the same incorporeal one the father says the people of bara do not know their own religion when it was established or who established it ha huh? they call themselves the hindus some remember a goddess some would remember sri krishna and others would remember their guru they even put up a photos of their guru you have nothing to do with pictures baba says ha huh? don't have interest in pictures the one who doesn't have an image is without a form is is vichitra means without an image baba don't have any body no chitra his soul is without an image just as the father is without an image 
I was saying in the same way, children are also without an image. So souls are also without image, Vichitra, and father is also without image. It is souls that listen, Baba has taken this body on loan. Huh? Brahma's body he has taken on loan. He says, how could I give knowledge without the support of matter? Uh, uh, how could I teach you Raj Yoga? Only the incorporeal one is called God. He has to come into the impure world. They saw Sri Krishna floating on a people leaf in the ocean. Why they have shown it like that? Baba says, people is a pure tree, uh, giving full-time oxygen, 24 hour, hours. So that is why uh, they have shown Krishna, pure soul, on, on that leaf, that leaf of pure tree. There isn't anything like that, Baba says, but in fact, it is not like that. Sri Krishna is the first prince of the world. There are no other religion there. That is the undivided kingdom. And, there, and then there is, uh, Baba says, dual, duality, duality, sorry. Then many types of religion continue to be established. Therefore, you children have to understand that Baba enters this body and teaches you because without organs, he also cannot speak. He cannot also give any power. He cannot teach us Raj Yoga. That's why he has to take body. I am the ocean of knowledge. The father sits here and explains all of these things. When you simply say God or Supreme Soul, you forget the relationship of the father. You forget that God is the father and that you receive the inheritance from him. He is our father, our creator, and we are his creation. He has created us uh, through the corporeal body of Brahma, through knowledge. He has created us. Someone has to be the creator, Baba says. Baba has explained that men are limited Brahmas. So this is also a very important line. Brahma means, the meaning is creator. They create children. How Brahma creates, Baba says, uh, is giving an example. First, a female is adopted. Then children are created with her. Baba says, I also create with this one. Uh, Baba also adopts Brahma as wife. And through the mouth of Brahma, he creates us, we children with the knowledge. So Baba says, a family is definitely needed. You said to Baba, you are the mother and father. Therefore, he adopted you children through this one. This one becomes the mother and he adopts you through him. So Brahma is also our mother. So parents are required. So Sri Baba is our father. Brahma is our mother. And through the mouth of mother, we are the children. We are the family. So how nicely Baba has explained. So you are called the mouth bone creation of Brahma. You belong to the Father through this one. These are very wonderful things. They are not mentioned in the scriptures. Baba says all these things are not in the scripture. That's why people don't know anything. I am called knowledgeful. Baba says knowledgeful means jani janan har. People think that God knows what is inside everyone and that he is a thought reader. I says, how could, how could he become a thought reader of so many people? The father says, I am the seed of the human world tree. The Baba says, I am not thought reader, but Baba says he can know what is going inside of everybody's mind. He can read, but Baba says, I am not free that always I will I will see everywhere what is going inside all the time. But if Baba wants, he can uh, do it uh, anytime when he requires. The father says, I am the seed of the human world tree. I am the living being, the truth. Souls too are living. Bodies are false. They repeatedly continue to change. Souls do not die. New souls imbibe this knowledge. The Father explains, I, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, am immune to the effect of action. That is, I am not at all affected by happiness or sorrow or by bitter or sweet things. I am free from the effect of those. 
I am the ocean of knowledge. People then say that souls are immune to the effect of action because souls and the supreme souls are one and the same. One person said something and everything began to follow on him. That is blindly they will follow. The father says, I am immune to the effect of action. I didn't find anything sour or salty. This one soul says such and such a thing is sour. I have the knowledge of the whole world, which is then uh, teach to us. Baba says, I have the knowledge or taste of everything. Each one of you has to understand, I, a soul, am listening to the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. So today's only how many times Baba has reminded, I am a soul. Here, these are truly the versions of God. You should have the faith that God, the Creator, is one. First and foremost is Bharat. Bharat is called an imperishable land. This Bharat is the birthplace of the Purifier Father. This is a very elevated land. Huh? Bharat is a very elevated land. There is to be the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan also here. You know that the father is once again planting the sapling of the deity religion. Those who belong to this religion will come and claim their inheritance. This is also a very important line. This is called a sapling. Baba has explained you have to become soul conscious. Baba is teaching us. You are listening to him through these years, huh? through Brahma's years, through these years. Means through our years, we are listening. We are studying this and teaching it huh, to others also. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And we spiritual children also say namaste, namaste to the uh, mother, father, bap dada. Mithe mithe sikiladhe bachcho prati maat pita bap dada ka yaad pyaar aur good morning. Ruhani bap ki ruhani bachcho ko namaste. Ham ruhani bachcho ki ruhani maat pita bap dada ko yaad pyaar good morning aur namaste. Essence for dharana from today's Murli point number one. Forget images. Baba says you forget the images, become one without an image and remember the father who is without an image. Remove your body and all bodily religions from your intellect. Practice remaining soul conscious. Second point, the sapling of the deity religion is being planted. Therefore, you definitely have to become pure. You have to imbibe divine knowledge huh? because you, you are going to become deity. So, Baba says you have to become pure. Then, blessings for today. May you die alive and transform your attitude, awareness, and vision with the awareness of your alokic life. The explanation is there. Brahmin life is said to be an alokic life, which means. That, he, that it is not like anything of this world. So the definition of a lokic life, Baba is saying, it is not of like this lokic world. Let there be transformation in your vision, awareness, and attitude. So transformation is the important thing. Transformation of vision, awareness, and attitude. Constantly have an attitude of brotherhood or brother and Sister, all of us are from the one family. Have this awareness and in your vision, look at souls, not bodies, and you will then be said to have died alive. When you have found such an elevated life, you cannot then remember your past life. So Baba says how to uh, have awareness uh, in your vision, awareness and attitude that Baba has explained. We have to see everybody as a soul and not as a body. That is the change of our sight, our vision. And awareness that all our souls, we are children of one father. So uh, as a relation with father, we are souls. As a relation with our Alokic father, we are brother and sisters. Now slogan from today's Murli. Constantly have pure feelings and no impure feelings of flu 
will then come close to you. So, Om Shanti, thank you very much, Baba, for this Murli. Now you will remember Baba.